I want to talk to you this morning about language and linguistics. I can feel some of you roll your eyes at me already. I can't see it, but I can feel it, my family included. But please bear with me. My family immigrated from Taiwan in the late 70s. Chinese is my first language, but not my primary language. If you have to ask, it's English. Um, I'm a Taiwanese American. Now, if the idea of being ethnically Chinese, but not identifying as Chinese, confuses you, just understand that there has been a Chinese diaspora for the past several hundred years. And Chinese people are everywhere. That's why you can find Chinese food in Tallahassee, in Torino, in Trinidad and Tobago. You all know how to say, how are you in Chinese, right? Niaoma, that's right. Everybody knows a little bit of Chinese, right? But Ni Hao Ma translates directly into, are you well? And I want to teach you two other ways of saying, hello, how are you? Okay, the first is, Ni Tsi Fan Ma. Not bad, okay? And the second is, Ni Tsi Bao Ma. Very good, okay? These two phrases are really just conjugations of the same idea. Ni tsi fan ma translates directly into have you eaten rice? <laughs> or, or have you eaten, okay? Because eating rice is synonymous with eating food, right? Ni tsi bao ma translates directly into have you eaten fully? Or have you eaten, right? Uh, because Semantically, if you came upon a friend at, say, 11 a.m., you would say, have you eaten because it's early and he may not have had brunch yet, right? And if you came upon a friend at, say, 1 p.m., you would say, are you full because they probably have eaten already, okay? And you say this in lieu of saying hello. So you came upon a person and that's what you said, okay? It is, in fact, an old-fashioned country way of saying things, of saying hello, and it's kind of weird, really, when you think about it, right? On the corner of 2nd Avenue and 7th Street, you might hear, hey, what's up? But at my parents' house, it was, ni tsi fan, ni tsi fan ma. Yes, halfway around the world, and country folks still have their own way of saying things. Language reflects culture and its people. Uh, culture gives birth to language. In the last 3,000 years, China has had a very long history of mass starvation. From 1810 to 1960, it's estimated that about 160 million people died from famine in China. 1810 was as far back as Wikipedia could go. After a millennium, ni tsi fan ma and ni tsi bao ma seem like the right thing to say instead of how are you or are you well. But ni tsi fan ma is slowly becoming an archaic term. You would be hard pressed to find anyone under the age of 50 saying it. Old people from the old country are the only ones that ever use it. And scholars point to one major reason as to why. It's passe. Simply, starvation is now a thing of the past in China. And it's funny how language is born and then it dies. And I'm gonna go off script, but it's just remarkable how something so awful can actually disappear from the language simply because the problem is gone from its existence, right? And we live in difficult times now. There is now a different kind of starvation, a famine of decency and goodwill towards people. But you and I are the people of God. We are commissioned to be the new Jerusalem. We are what it means to love and to be loved. And between us and our allies, we are meant to see the death of certain language. Imagine, if you will, the end of such words as race and poverty and inequality, and imagine giving birth to new language such as social justice and whatever else we choose to imagine. 
See, the home of God is among mortals. He will dwell with them. They will be his peoples, and God himself will be with them. He will wipe every tear from their eyes. Death will be no more. Mourning and crying and pain will be no more. Imagine what language you can create tomorrow. Amen.